Hey guys, it's John. You're on the JRB Tree Climbing Channel. I'm out here at the test facility at Rock and Arbor Ape Canyon Outfitters. You know I recommend the head and knot. Well, let's test it. You've got a separate video on how to tie it and all the great things you can do with it. See the video description for those links. But a reminder, the head and knot is tied with a standard Prusik loop. And so we're going to be tying it and we're going to compare it also to a Prusik. Let's get to the testing. There we have a three wrap head in versus a three wrap head in that's tied in six millimeter TRC Prusik loops. And that is on a 9.5 millimeter ghillie rope. Your results may vary, but none of us are going to see these kind of forces in the real world. We're going to, we're going to pull that and see where it breaks or slips. So we're getting some slippage. Okay. Wow, would you look at that. I am truly astounded, but look what happened. We had a little bit of minor slippage, but look what broke. The head in is still intact. But where the head in was headed into the, I'm sorry, where the rope was headed into the other head in is where it broke. Now, because the head in is constricting the rope, we're going to expect the rope to break at less than, than its MBS, right? It's creating a pinch point. Let's go over to the scale. Let's see what we got. 2,655 pounds. Okay, so I've reset the system. Now we have a four wrap heading. Let's pull it. Remember this is new cord on new rope so your results may vary based on the age, humidity, materials used. A little bit of minor slipping. Bada boom. What have we got? Coming right on in for the kill here. Once again, that heading is in place and the rope seems to have severed going into it. Here's the other side of the system. And once again, the headings held and broke the rope. Let's pan on over. So this time, 3,305 pounds. So we got greater holding power. Now this is a fairly small set of samples. It's just two samples, one against each other. So I don't believe there's a you know significant, we'd have to repeat this test if we wanted to draw any significant conclusions, but it definitely uh, is making me confident in the recommendation of either of these hitches as a backup. Okay, so now we've got eight millimeter sterling oplux, and this time we're just pulling one, but there's a four wrap head in. Eight millimeter is a real popular rope uh, diameter, and so let's see where that head in slips or breaks the rope. As you saw, we got slippage, not breakage. She's still holding firm. 
1865, but we got first slippage around 1600. Okay. Now we've got a standard Prusik. Again, six millimeter on eight. Alright, started slipping at 980, holding at 990. That underperformed in my book. So those results were very interesting. As I suspected, the 4-wrap head-in was stronger than the 3-wrap head-in. But I fully expected them to slip, not snap the rope. But when we went down to 8 millimeter, that was the case. And if you could tell by the looks of this old strand, I've been tying these with TRC for quite a while. And so if you are in the business of using these devices, I can't say I'm a fan, but I'm tired of hearing stories about them slip. And so if you've got any reservations whatsoever, simply pop on a head in above it and you've got yourself a backup. Thank you very much.